2018 Volkswagen Tiguan review. The new Tiguan is slightly bigger and significantly improved. With the 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan, it seems like the German automaker is finally what she uses a small crossover SUV that a great many Americans will require. Though entertaining they are driving, the first sort generation Tiguan fell in short supply of the competition due to its small cargo space, mediocre fuel economy and, recently, too little now common driver safety aids including blind spot monitoring and forward collisions warning. The Tiggins premium price didn't help its case either. For 2018, however, the Tiggin is thoroughly overhauled. It rides atop a fresh platform that underpins Volkswagen models between the compact Golf hatchback to your new three-row Atlas SUV. This Tiggin even shares its new muscular shape and type with the Atlas. It's also 10 inches over its predecessor which VW uses of more cargo space, more legroom, plus an optional third row seat that's small but handy if you wish to cart around a few extra kids. Some in the Tiggins traditional strengths carry over, including a quiet and comfy ride, top-notch cabin materials, plus a user-friendly tech interface that's now a whole lot easier and quicker to make use of. These upscale touches not exact an expense premium either. Overall, we feel the new Tiggin will probably be worth a look alongside other roomy small crossovers for example the Chevrolet Equinox, Honda CRV, and Nissan Rogue. Notably, we pick the 2018 Volkswagen Tiggin as one of best small SUVs with this year. What's new? The Volkswagen Tiggin is fully redesigned for 2018. Compared to its predecessor, it includes more legroom, more cargo space as well as a standard third row. The base Tiggin S is an excellent value, with standard three-row seating optional with all-wheel drive, a rear-view camera and roof rails for weekend adventurers. But if you'll be able to stretch your financial allowance, the say is a great buy. Upgrades includes keyless entry and ignition, simulated leather upholstery, Heated front seats along with a larger touchscreen tech interface. The Slensel Premium provide a few more amenities, but the world thinks the say will hit the sweet position for most buyers. Trim levels and features. The 2018 Volkswagen Tiggin will come in five trim levels: Limited, S, Say, Slensel Premium. All 2018 Tiggins are powered with a turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine. Note that the engine's power varies slightly with regards to the trim level you decide, as detailed below. Front-wheel drive is standard, and all-wheel drive is optional. The Limited it does not take base trim, hence the name is nearly misleading comes with an engine with 200 horsepower and 207 pound-feet of torque. That engine is linked with a six-speed automatic transmission. Standard features for the Limited include 16-inch wheels, black cloth upholstery, a 402040 split folding rear seat, a rear view camera, Bluetooth, a 5-inch touchscreen display, as well as an audio system with radio, CD player and SD card watcher. The second step up would be the Tiggin S, this Tiggin. Together with all other remaining trims, features a slightly different four-cylinder engine that produces 184 horsepower and 221 lbft of torque. Acceleration ought to be very similar compared towards the Limited, nevertheless the 184 horsepower engine is much more fuel efficient. It's also linked with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Additional S features include 17-inch wheels, roof rails, heated side mirrors, automatic headlights, adaptive fog lights, a rear-view camera, Bluetooth, a 6.5-inch touchscreen display, a USB port, a 6-speaker subwoofer and VW's Carnet App Connect, which controls select smartphone apps on the touchscreen and includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. 
the optional driver assistance package adds forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. The same includes those driver assistance features, plus heated washer nozzles, keyless entry and ignition, dual zone climate control, simulated leather upholstery, heated front seats, an electric adjustable driver's seat, a leather wrapped controls, an 8 inch touch screen, satellite and HD radio, voice commands, two extra USB ports plus the CarNet security and service remote access towards the vehicle by way of a smartphone app, automatic crash notification, and monitoring services for young drivers. A panoramic sunroof is optional for the say. The sole comes standard while using sunroof and adds 18-inch wheels, an electric liftgate, remote start, adaptive cruise control, navigation and the car net guide and inform displays real-time traffic, weather and nearby fuel prices. Finally, the sole premium adds adaptive LED headlights, automatic wipers, a hands-free liftgate, an electronic digital gauge cluster, leather upholstery a 9-speaker premium Fender speakers, and additional driver assistance features including a top-down parking camera system, lane departure warning and intervention, front and back parking sensors, and automatic high beam control. The Reliant package offered on Slensel Premium trims includes larger wheels 19-inch Fussel, 20-inch Fussel Premium, sportier exterior styling elements and, for that sill, back and front parking sensors driving. More an abandoned, comfortable cruiser compared to a sporty curve machine, the Tiggin includes a punchy turbo four-cylinder engine along with an eight-speed transmission. The engine lags from your standstill, however, and overall fuel economy is just not especially impressive for it of competitors. Acceleration The Tiggin's turbocharged engine feels punchy after you put your foot down at speed. Braking. It feels more button air down than another small crossover SUVs, however, it's still shy for being a sporty driving experience. Drivability. We're not keen on how the Tiggin reacts slowly if you take your foot from the brake pedal and go for that gas. The delay is pronounced enough that you need to look for larger gaps in traffic when producing turns into oncoming traffic. Comfort. A quiet, comfortable ride remains one on the Tiggin strengths. The front seats needs to be comfortable on long drives. Seat comfort. The cloth upholstery is a lot more durable than comfortable, but cushioning remains supportive while on an hour long drive. Simulated leather can be found in middle two trims, real leather is reserved for your top trim. The latter is a lot more attractive and luxurious but doesn't breathe also on a hot day. Ride Comfort You'll likely benefit from the quiet, comfortable ride for one's daily commute. Against larger wheels ever since the 19-inch wheels on Sol Premium Test Car produced a pointy, heavy impact when running over sunken manhole covers. The 17-inch wheels about the base model proved far more forgiving. Interior. The classy interior that appears and feels solid and well built, another traditional TIG and strength, remains intact. Design and parts relying on and possibly borrowed from the Atlas SUV supply the TIG in a much needed style update. Utility. The TIG and ultimate utility depends upon whether you go searching for a third row seat. The three row TIG and offers less cargo space overall. Nevertheless it still analyzes well to your rest with the field. The standard roof rails supply a head start for outdoor adventure seekers as well as their gear. Technology The 2018 Tiguan incorporates VW's latest infotainment and safety systems. Overall, this is an appealing blend of features. Audio and Navigation a revised tech interface can be a key highlight on new Tiggin. The base S trim receives a 6.5 inch touch screen, others receive an 8 inch display. 
the interface resembles earlier models, nevertheless the system has quicker responses. The top gym receives a 9-speaker Fender Premium Stereo Audio. Smartphone Integration Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and Mirror Link come standard. Certain functions, for instance remote door locking and unlocking, could be controlled with the VW smartphone app. Driver aids. Glaringly absent from earlier models, the revolutionary Tiggin comes with a comprehensive listing of driver aids. Essential features blind spot monitoring. Auto emergency braking are optional about the base trim and standard for the rest. You can get more safety features around the upper trims. <laughs>